decorate with me for Halloween. friends welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK so happy Tuesday today I am actually getting back from Walt Disney World so I will be back to responding to comments real quick but I will be in a very bad mood because the Disney blues will have sunk in we're getting back in the morning and I've got tomorrow off to get over the jet lag unpack do the washing and I'm hoping to film the haul because I would like that to go up next Friday for you so if you're interested in that haul please make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss that video but today we are going to be doing a Halloween video so I'm wearing my cake worthy pumpkin Mickey Mouse dress that I got from Truffle Shuffle this year I really love it I love these dresses so much I've got the Haunted Mansion one as well and I've got a Mickey Mouse one that I have grown out of but I just don't want to part with unfortunately so like i said today we are going to be decorating for halloween i had planned this to be a halloween room tour but actually it's not all in one room so it's not like before in my bedroom at my mom and dad's where i could just open the door and it was all halloween in there there's actually nothing really halloween in here except for a few pumpkins that you'll see because i am filming november videos so i didn't want it to look halloweeny when i'm filming the november videos it will probably look christmasy when i'm filming the christmas videos but again i will probably be filming january in mid-december so i don't know what i'll do so the main rooms that have been decorated for halloween are joe's room our bedroom the hallway and the living room i think that's it and the way i've done this video is like vlog style so i've put in the footage in the order i did it rather than doing it room by room so it does look a little bit sporadic but it allows for if i buy something else so for example i recently got something from tesco for the living room that wasn't in the video so i've just added that in afterwards and put like what date i did that so the first thing we start at mom and dad's in august when i go and get the halloween plushes so i haven't moved everything over i'm quite embarrassed but i've basically took what i want at the moment and then i just need to summon the energy to sort through the things i don't want decide whether to sell on vintage or donate to charity or just throw in the bin if it's useless but i had kept my halloween and my christmas things there because i didn't need to bring them here yet if i were to bring them here before halloween and christmas they'd just go straight in the loft it would be pointless so i agreed with them that they would stay there and then the halloween plushes have been bought over and then after halloween they will go up in the loft and then the christmas things will come over and then the christmas things will go in the loft in january so i got the halloween bag because i actually thought there was two but the reason i thought there was two is because there was one already here starting to grow and there was a full one at mom and dad's so there are now two halloween bags we took them over to our house and then on the bank holiday monday joe was working so i decided to do my plush sofa i took everything off and bagged it The Pooers and the Grogu's have gone in the loft and then everything else has gone in those plastic boxes to the side of the sofa. They were from B&M if you're wondering, they stopped selling them for a while but they've started selling them again. So then once the sofa was clear, it was time to empty the bag, which was very satisfying to do, of all of the Halloween plush and start putting the Halloween plush on the sofa.
I'm happy with that. It's not as full as the Christmas plush sofa is going to be, but that is because I've noticed I started collecting Halloween plush much lighter than I collected Christmas plush. I've got from 2014 onwards of Christmas plush, but only 2019 onwards of Halloween plush. Obviously, I am hoping to get at least two more Halloween plush from my Florida trip because they have parks exclusive Mickey and Minis and we're also going shopping for a day so I might see more Halloween plush in another store so I might get more Halloween plush but obviously this video is going up when I'm not yet home so I can't show those to you which is why I would like the haul to go up this month so that you can see the Halloween bits that I bought and then I bought my Disney store Halloween tote bag back from my parents that also contains my decorations I do need to get a box to put all of this away before it goes into the loft in November but last year I literally just put it in my Halloween tote bag because I knew I wouldn't use it until now basically. So this just contains pumpkins, lanyards and string lights which I was going to use in the hallway. So the first thing I did in the hallway was I changed out the Thomas Kincaid canvas. So these were both very kindly gifted to me by Thomas Kincaid and when I was putting them up the aristocats one went above the light in the hallway and i always said that i would put the command strips on the halloween one in the exact same place so that i could just lift the aristocats one off the command strips that are stuck to the wall and replace it with the halloween one however i didn't even put that much pressure on it and the whole thing came off luckily it hasn't ripped the paint off so i literally just put fresh command strips on the halloween one and put it on the wall and then after halloween i will switch it to the aristocats one again because i don't have a christmas canvas i have a christmas stained glass piece and i honestly don't know where that's going to go in this house to be honest it's still at mom and dad's let's actually put The Halloween piece is one of my favourite pieces that I own from Thomas Kincaid. It's just unfortunate that I can't really have it up all year round and I'll need to be careful with it when I put it away because all this time we've lived here it's just been in my wardrobe because I wanted it to be near and I wanted it to be safe. And the next thing I did was put plastic pumpkins along the windowsill. I originally wanted to put them in between the banisters, there's like a little shelf, but Joe was worried about them falling so on the windowsill they went. And then I put a little command hook on our bedroom door because we didn't have one before and I've put a really cute Primark Halloween wreath that I think I got last year on the door. And then when that comes off it can hold a Christmas wreath at Christmas and then I don't know what it will hold the rest of the year. Probably just one of my keyring plush. And then I put the pumpkin string lights around the banister and it looks really really cute when it's on. And then I put one of my Halloween gonks on the hook that's on my door. This had a sleeping mic plush, I think. It should have been in my room tour video, so if you didn't see that, I'll leave a card up above. But now it's got a gonk and I have moved Mike to buy the Sullies for a bit. And then I put my... And then last year I got a wooden stitch garland from Primark of Stitch in different Halloween costumes. I've put that around my wall picture because I couldn't think where else to put it, where it wouldn't rattle. And then it was time to put out my greeters, I think they're called. Primark do these like extendable Mickey and Minnie plushes. If they were sold in America, I think they would be called greeters. So I had last year's orange ones to put out, and then I put out this year's Halloween greeters. I haven't had time in my schedule because of my Walt Disney World trip to do a plush review on these, but They've gone up in price slightly, I think, but they're £14 and I got them both from Primark in September. And then I also put out a gonk in front of my bookcase. And then I did put a Jack Skellington on the doorknob of my wardrobe, but I'll be honest, I took that off so I could take some vintage photos and I don't know where I've put it. So I need to find him and put him back in his rightful place. And then all I've really done in this room is just put some pumpkins out. I've got a skeleton bob jelly cat as well that lives in here, but not much has happened in here. I also put some pumpkins on the bookcase in my bedroom and I put my Sully pumpkin, which is from the Sodo Co, next to all of the Sullys on Joe's side of the room. We have got a candle in there that I have never burnt. I have one on the go currently that's in the living room and then when that one's used, I'll probably use this one. And I have bought another one 
that is just kind of in the cupboard waiting to be used that smells of sour gummies. And then on the bookcase in the living room I put the big Primark pumpkin plush that I got this year on there and also my small jelly cat pumpkin plush and the mushroom candle that's on the lower shelf is the candle that I'm burning currently it's from Primark I can't remember what the scent is but it is very autumnal and then I had two ghost cushions that have just gone on the little sofa the big one is from TK Maxx and the smaller one is from Primark. Like I said, I did have some others to put out after the fact, so I got another ghost plush from Tesco and also a Mickey Mouse mummy cushion. And then it was time to do our bed, so I waited until two weeks before Florida to do our beds because I change our bed every two weeks and my mum had very kindly agreed to wash our bedding while we were away and put it back on so it's been cleaned by the time that we're back but it can just stay on for another two weeks then because currently I only have one Halloween bedding set. I obviously had quite a few when I had a double bed but now we've moved to a king I've just bought one from Asda and I went for the Grogu one so it says Happy Halloween on one side and on the other side it's loads of Grogu's in different outfits. So he's a pirate, he's a mummy, he's all kinds of things and he's really really cute and I absolutely love this bedding. And then in home sense they sometimes have Disney Halloween things so I got this really cute Disney Halloween blanket just for when it gets cold. And then unless there's a few additions that I add in this video before it goes up, that is everything. I have been searching for some things from Primark that my Primark unfortunately didn't have so if I do get them before this video goes up I will put it in there but obviously I will have just spent the last two weeks in Walt Disney World so I probably won't have gotten anything to show you. But that is it from me. Thank you for decorating for Halloween with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you liked the most. I think for me it's my bedding because I was really excited to get Halloween bedding. We've also just bought our Christmas bedding and it's absolutely adorable. If you need any recommendations I would highly recommend checking out Asda. But that is it from me. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you on Friday for me packing for Disney. Bye friends!